Hi, I'm Christina Warren, Senior Tech Analyst at Mashable, and today Apple is making iOS 7 available to the public. Announced back in June at WWDC, iOS 7 is the most significant update to iOS, I would say since iOS 2.0, which introduced third-party apps for the first time. It is a complete visual overhaul of the operating system. Every single pixel has been remade. There are a ton of new features, and it's more than just a skin. A lot of people say that it's just a, a new look and feel, a more flat design, but there's a lot more to it than that. One of the big features is a new parallax view for the backgrounds. And what that means is that when you move the phone up or down, the background actually changes. So it looks like the icons are actually floating on top of the background. It's really subtle, but a really cool effect and something that we haven't seen before. There are also animated background options available, which is also new. All the icons have this new kind of flatter aesthetic. Everything is using the new typeface and everything is completely, completely new. There are a couple of major new features. One of the major features is something called Control Center. Now Control Center means when you swipe up from the bottom, brings up this translucent overlay, this works in any app, that will let you immediately have access to airplane mode, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, the night mode, which means that you only get calls or alerts if there are people on your list, uh, orientation lock, the brightness controls, as well as music controls, and you can enable airdrop, do airplay, turn on a flashlight, have easy access to your alarm, easy access to a calculator, and easy access to the camera. So the camera UI has been completely redefined. Um, and while we'll see a lot of camera updates in, in the iPhone 5S, uh, all iOS devices will take advantage of the new camera. There's a square format, so you can take pictures in square mode. There's a new panoramic mode that will let uh, you take uh, panoramic photos easier and video is now an option to, to take right on the camera. One of the other neat things is that if you want to apply live filters to your shots, you can. They've got all sorts of live filters. You can preview how something's going to look before you apply it, which is kind of neat. So if y'all wanted to do something in black and white, you know, I can preview how the shot's going to look and then take the picture. A lot of the, the changes seem like they're surface, but the more you use the OS, the more you realize just how different some of the things are. The biggest thing I can say is that this is a lot more gesture driven in terms of the interface. So we're gonna go into the browser now and there's a unified search bar now. The search and the URL bar are, are, are unified so you no longer have to enter in one or the other. And what's neat is that when you press the tab bar, you can see it has this 3D view. You can switch between tabs easily. You can pull up old tabs if you want to close one, you can do that. One of the other new features of iOS 7 is the new way of multitasking. It works the same way before. You double tap on the home button and it will pull up all of your apps. What's different is that you now have this card interface. And applications can actually run now more in the background too. So you can go through all this stuff. It's a really nice way of scrolling through stuff. It's a lot faster um, than, than the old version was. A lot of apps are already updating to iOS 7 and will be updated over the next week. Um, one thing to note is that it's not just on the phone. iOS 7 is also new on the iPad. We will be bringing you more iOS 7 details in the coming week. Be sure to subscribe to us on YouTube. For Mashable, I'm Christina Warren.